right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now, go back to corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the many takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Beautiful strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh. Oh! Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good right hand. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Counter punches, good by Connor. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They got him. That left hand and put in the Hall of Famers. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. 27 total strikes have now landed for Connor McGregor. Honing in on those counters. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always see it, things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Right hand upstairs. Very nice leg kick there by McGregor. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. 
Just over two minutes, round one. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Beautiful kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfect. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs here. Oh, McGregor's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just out of range with the big right hand. Rips the body there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and show. 20 seconds to go. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. And he landed the right hand there. Job defensively there to block the strike by McGregor. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice strike. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drop, oh! he's a He's hurt bad. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, McGregor's hook shot there. Looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. All right, single collar tie now. Good and they separate. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Got the single collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Great punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And the Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Yeah. 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 The sheer will is... 
is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Huge knee land. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Good punch land. They continue to exchange. No! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the fight. He's hurt bad. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice straight punch. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in time. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find straight. Beautiful combination there. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's some guy. I love the way you talk. But I love the way this guy fights, and he throws those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. That knee might have landed there. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there, that'll wake you up. He thought it would be available, he just knew. He has to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, he'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. That knee might have landed there. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Another nice knee there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take him back along with 
is quite good. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. McGregor's back in half goal. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back and forth we go here. Connects with a right. His misses are entertaining. Ooh, what a punt. Superman punch. Oh, collar tie. Boy, Ty Blanc, that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to put teeth that finish on him. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.